Hi, I'm Dr. Pompa. I want you all to go out and get a great, fantastic article in June 2012 issue of Scientific America. Listen, right on the cover, it says your inner ecosystem, in your body, bacteria outnumber your own cells 10 to 1. I love this question. Who's in control? See, because what we discovered not too many years ago is that we simply do not have enough genes in our body to have all of the cellular function that we need to have this intellect and high functioning systems that we have. Here's my point. We have 25,000 genes. A mouse has 25,000 genes. The lowly earthworm has about 24,000 genes. So the question was, how do we have so much higher function at the cellular level? You know, the answer really lies within this article. And why should it interest you? Because you know why? It's really giving us an answer while we have a surge right now of obesity in this country, while we have a surge of autoimmune conditions. We're talking about living with an ecosystem of bacteria that are in our gut that share their DNA or information with our information, and it gives us function that we would never have otherwise. See, because in the article, it talks about, yes, us having 25,000 genes, well, these bacteria have 3.3 million in their DNA, talks to our DNA, and gives us functions that we would never have otherwise because our DNA doesn't even code for it. Let me give you an example. In the article, it talked about Bacteroides fragilis. And what we know is this particular bacteria actually regulates our immune system, meaning that it actually talks to our DNA and helps us produce something called regulatory cells, T cells. What that means is, these down-regulate T-cells that drive inflammation. Why is that important? Because what they're finding is, is people today lack, especially children, lack these bacteria, and therefore we're not getting the suppression of the, immune, uh, of the inflammation cells, which cause this nice balance. See, you need inflammation because it drives our immune system, but when these bacteria don't talk to our bacteria, or if you don't have the bacteria to do that talking, then your inflammation surges. And in the article, it talks about as an answer for why we have a surge in autoimmune conditions, thyroid, autoimmune, Hashimoto's, MS, diabetes, all of them are linked to too hyper, and even allergies, too much immunity, okay? But now we realize it's sharing these bacteria and the information from these bacteria that actually help regulate our immune system. You know, they gave another great example in here. They talked about stem cells. You know what stem cells are? Stem cells are cells with, kind of without direction yet in life. They don't know if they want to be muscle cells, bone cells, or fat cells. Well, we realize without certain bacteria that most of these cells end up becoming fat cells, and it explains the, the surge in obesity even in children. So it's the bacteria that we've been afraid of for so long, we're ne learning now, that is actually bacteria that we can't live without. Matter of fact, another one that they spoke of in this article was one that maybe you're familiar with because it causes stomach ulcers, H. pylori. Well, yeah, if you take an antibiotic and kill H. pylori, we learned that you can actually get rid of 50% of stomach ulcers. But the bigger problem is we learned that the people who did that in that treatment, yeah, they got rid of their ulcers, but they also started gaining weight, and they didn't know why and couldn't lose it. We know now that this one bacteria communicates with a hormone called ghrelin that actually is a hormone that's involved in weight loss and weight gain. So we know now that that's why, in fact, they gain weight. So, you know, there's so much new information. This is brand new science, but it's earth-shattering and earth-breaking. You know, we realize now that why our immune system is driving in hyperdrive, because we can't have the, uh, the communication with this bacteria that down-regulates the inflammation. So what do we do? What's the answer? Because really it doesn't give us that answer except eat more dirt and be less cleanly and don't take antibiotics. Well, at least that's their information. That's not necessarily my advice. But the point is this, is that, you know, there is a company right now that gives us a more simple answer than that. And the company's called Beyond Organic. It's products, they produce products that I and my family eat every day. See, it's, cul it's, from, it's, it's cultured products, even cheese, um, that we get from special cows that eat a special way and they eat something called grass. Yes, I said grass, not grain, but they do it in a special way, like I said, because they follow a process called ultra-high-density grazing. So they're getting and eating a lot of these bacteria that we're not being exposed to, and then it comes through their milk into these special products. Don't be afraid. If you're out there and say, well, I'm intolerant to milk, I can't enjoy these products, that's not true. 
99% of the dairy in this country has a protein in it called beta A1 casein. That that's what most people respond to in a negative way. As a matter of fact, it's 23 times more toxic than gluten, especially if your gut leaks and these proteins leak across. They drive inflammation. Well, these cows were ancient breeding. We bred them back to the ancient way that it doesn't contain that protein, so you won't have that reaction. But what you will get is a lot of these bacteria that you can't get in a pill or a powder. See, because that five, six, seven, ten strains that you're getting in your probiotic are not the same bacteria that they're talking about in this article. Matter of fact, a lot of these bacteria, you know, we really can't get any other way except through a natural way. Matter of fact, even the probiotics that you're familiar with, most of those don't make it down into the lower gut because they just don't survive. They're living organisms and they need to their natural environment to live and to survive and to be protected. And in these Beyond Organic products, one product which is called Amasi, and another one called Suerevee, these bacteria live and get down in, into your lower GI where you need the most, where most Americans have inflammation driving a lot of other health conditions. And these bacteria survive. And not only does it give you better digestion and assimil assimilation of your minerals and nutrients, but more importantly, we know now, according to this article, New Science, that it's communicating with your DNA, that 3.3 million bacteria, that they're saying most Americans are lacking. You know, look, this is a simple way to change your health for, so, for the benefit of so many different ways that you never thought of. Like I said, weight loss or the inability to lose weight and even down-regulating autoimmune conditions. You know, there's two brains in the body, the one between your ears that we're most familiar with and also the second brain, which is the gut. These bacteria really are the key to the communication between these two brains and the key to really supporting so many of these inflammatory conditions that we see today. So I know it'll change your life. Get the article. Check out Beyond Organic. I'll give you the website, www.beyondorganicmilk.com. Beyondorganicmilk.com. Check it out. I know it'll change your life.